Yo, what is up guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, we are going to be doing a review on the Avalon Nano 3S. This is going to be the upgraded version from the Nano 3. So, this is going to be a little unboxing slash setup slash um, running it. Showing you guys all the features. So, this is actually going to come out of the box. Just like that. It's pretty clean, not going to lie. Got this little start your journey, which is pretty cool. Connect to the world's largest mining pool. And then this is gonna be the Wi-Fi module. I'll actually open this later. Let's actually get everything out of the box first. Oh. Let's put this in there. Okay, this is going to be the battery for this whole thing. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty easy setup, just a plug and play, just like the little um, bit axes that we have, the gammas. This is actually going to be the power cables for that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Let's actually put this to the side. Just toss it to the side for now. Same thing with this. Yeah. So this looks like it's like a little pin. Same thing if you had like an older iPhone what it looks like just a little stabby stab <laughs> and then this is going to be the wi-fi module so we have the user's manual oh there's that okay we're going to toss this to the side and this is going to be the wi-fi module for your canon device this is going to be called <laughs> the come fast the come fast it's the best device ever all right so first things first we actually are going to plug this in get this set up um yeah so we actually are going to plug this in right there okay we're going to plug this in just like that now overall model of this it's pretty decent. You know, you have your magnetized vent, just like the older ones. Older ones do have it like this as well. It's pretty clean. This is gonna be your uh, your exhaust side right here. And this is gonna be your intake, I believe. Yeah, your intake. And then you're gonna have these little, two little, like little hinges that you come out, kind of come out like that. Oh, and it just kind of comes off like that. This is going to be your little filter, your little dust filter for the device. Slide that back in. See, you see the four little fans in there. One, two, three. Actually, yeah, there's only three fans. My bad. Three fans right there for your device so it doesn't overheat. This is actually has an upgraded cooling system than the original Nano 3S or the Nano 3, I should say. And they said they upgraded the battery as well because a lot of problems were with the battery with the Nano 3. It was overheating way too much. As you can see, the specs right here. I don't know if, how much is that really true. We're actually going to let you guys know later on in the video. All right, guys. I'm actually going to show you guys how to take this apart. This little sticker is usually supposed to be over here. If you do stab this sticker or damage this sticker in any way possible, it will cancel your warranty for this device. No questions asked. There are going to be four, uh, four little legs that you're going to have to actually pop out to get to the bolts or to the little screws that's actually on underneath. Pop these two out. This one's gonna be exposed. This one's actually gonna be covered. You just kind of, kind of get a little blade, a little razor blade under there. Kind of just pop that out of the way without actually damaging the sticker at all. So we're actually going to show you guys what's actually underneath or the inner workings of all this. So you see the three little fans that is actually gonna be here. These are actually surprisingly very quiet in my opinion. So these are the whole thing. If you guys are ever curious to see what's actually underneath inner workings of everything, this is what it all looks like. And then to put it back together. So these two little struts are gonna go obviously on these two little struts right here 
So you kind of just make sure they both go on. Don't force anything. And then it should just slip on. Get a nice little push downwards. And then you are ready to put this all the way back together. A few moments later. Get everything a nice little snug. And then you have your cannon all ready to go. I still have yet to figure out what this actually does. I know there's a button right there. That's where it looks like it goes, but I don't know exactly what that button does. Uh, I probably have to read the manual. The user's manual for that. And then I'll get you guys the answer. We'll slip this back down. Bam, then we're gonna plug it in. It's a sleek design though. I really do like the ejection and this does have lights up, lights up with it. Uh, you got a nice little, nice little hello. I like that, hi. <laughs> You're gonna make me millionaire. So this is, it's actually the full 360 of it. Really sleek, I think this is injection mold. Well, obviously it is. Slick, so now, Let's actually set this up for you guys so you guys get your tear ash and start mining Bitcoin. Alright guys, so you're going to put your email in like normal. It's going to have you sign in and log in. You're going to hit add, new device. Go down to where it says Nano 3S. Once it gives out, it's going to give you a nice little tip. You're going to hit search for devices. It's going to pop up your device. Click that. And then once you're done, hit connect. And then once it's connecting, it's going to give you your Wi-Fi prompt. You're going to actually select your Wi-Fi in the list. You're going to put your password in. It's gonna hit save. Once it's saving, it's actually gonna kick you out and go to the home page, just like right now. Once you're gonna hit that, you're gonna actually hit disconnect the actual device. It's gonna hit a security alert, which is gonna show you to get you a new password. First, the first line is gonna be admin, no uppercase, only lowercase. After that, you can put whatever password you want. You're gonna hit save. It's gonna give you a tip. It's gonna be saving real quick. Once it's done saving, it's gonna kick you back out into the home page. And now we're actually gonna put a pull configuration on into your device. So now you're actually gonna hit the device, you go to settings, and then it's gonna go to pull configuration. It's gonna be on the second um, the second option right there. So we're gonna click that real quick. And then now I'm gonna show you guys already installed uh, pool address. So this is gonna be CK pool. Always on the bottom, you're always gonna have to put an X for all three of these, which I forgot to do. So I'm actually gonna do that real quick. You're so, if you guys want to slow this video down at any point, this is uh this is gonna be good for you guys. I got a uh, public pool in the second pool, and third pool I got the CK pool again. So once you're done with that, you're gonna have to put in your password that you just created. Put that in real quick. It's gonna hit save, and then it's gonna restart the whole device. It's gonna say succeed. Now it's gonna go back to your home page. And then now I want to say it's going to be starting to disconnect from whatever terahash hash you were already originally at. And okay, now we're going to go to settings. We're actually going to go, please, 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 please make sure you're going to have to sync your time. Don't forget this. It's very critical. All right, guys, I'm actually going to show you guys the features right now. So you do have this like little nice little button right here. It's a soft touch. So it does show you a terahash. hash. You get a clock on the date Then you get a nice little logo. And that's basically all you get. But right here, you get your tear hash, how much water you're actually using, your IP address, your clock right there, the time, what day it is. Same thing for the clock right here as well. You get it right here, but you don't get all the fancy stuff. So, then I'm actually gonna show you guys how to operate the lights. So, if we do come, I'm actually gonna show you guys on my computer. This is gonna be my CT, or my CK pool. But if you can actually see, we actually have, let's actually back out for you guys. So you guys, this guys, you could be on your phone for this or your computer. You can actually hit that, hit the light control, and then bam, you can actually set the brightness up however you want, or we could actually change the color of the lights as it goes. It does have different features or different modes, like there is a flashing mode, which I don't recommend. They also has a breathing mode, which looks a little cool, you know, at night, you know, you're sitting there, it has this loop, it does give you every single color. But then what I do like about it, if you are setting this up in your house, you do have a night feature. 
So if you do hit that, it should turn off everything and should put up this little night mode. And it turns off the whole thing while you're still mining uh, your Bitcoin on any level. So I'm actually gonna show you guys the work modes for this. So it does have a low and a medium and high. What I found out that high usually get around six, six terahash or like 6.2 medium. You kind of get just like a regular like four terahash and low. I haven't done, I haven't used the low yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be lower than four. So you're probably going to get around two terahash around there. But I don't know. The battery is very hot. Like it is burning hot. Avalon did say they did um, upgrade the battery for you guys. I don't know if they really did. And if they did, you know, it wasn't a really good job, in my opinion. So I might have to like figure out a solution if I could put a fan on top or I might have to open up, put some heat, uh, copper heat sinks on there. Maybe cool something down. I don't know yet, but it is very hot. I do like the transparent on it though. You can actually see inside, but it is way too hot for this even my bit axis doesn't get that hot but bit axis do have less tear hash so i would have to give it that so this is actually going to be my seat cape my seat son of a bit son of a bit son of a bit my ck pool right here um if you guys want to know like how much i'm i'm doing so this is actually be all my stats as you can see i do have three workers i have my nano my ice tower and then this is going to be my regular bit axe that's not upgraded yet so this is going to be the terra hashes right here for you guys in the day these are the best the best shares that we ever got and recently updated it's right now so it's right now about six terra hash for the nano ice towers are you know doing what they're supposed to be doing so yeah okay so this is actually the official uh canyon website which is going for 300 bucks roughly without taxes and um taxes and shipping it does come in white as well white does look pretty clean i'm not gonna lie same thing but just some white um they do actually advertise this as a heater which you know if it's something bad you know when nobody likes their things to overheat but actually the avalon actually advertises that as a feature which is pretty good. I mean, if you want a heater, like a desk heater, pretty good. Um, it does have the upgraded uh, battery that actually comes with it. I think it, the the right here, has a 140 watt adapter. I know the, uh, the last generation actually had problems with the battery. It kept going out. People were actually getting uh, uh, mad and getting refunded because of that. So there's some good that they actually did. Um, you know, as you can see, the air inlet, the filters, the USB ports. You know, you could you could actually use the F2 pool if you want. Um, makes it actually pretty easy as well to actually set up. Same thing as we do as a CK solo mine public pool. Um, actually does offer six terahash. I'm actually mining a tiny bit over 6.19 as of right now it does have 12 chips in it um it does say it's at 30 celsius i think mine right now is around around that as of right now which is actually pretty crazy because mine bit axes actually run higher than that it is actually really quiet 30 to 40 it's probably a little bit louder than my bit axis just by a tad you're you're not gonna hear the difference i promise you uh it does does have wi-fi uh, capability but yeah i don't know why if if it was me getting another one i would actually buy it through canon the official website just because i always say altair is my go-to but they're actually having the price at 419 which is a little crazy, but the shipping day is April April 2025. Uh, shipping day is April. Same thing. So I don't know why you would want to pay $120 more than something you could get over there. But if you want to get it, for some reason, you're just that guy that says, you know, I want to spend $100 more. Be my guest, you know. Be my guest. But actually, Avalon does actually have a lot of the products as 
space heaters like the Avalon Mini 3. That is a big time, you know, a little bit more expensive, but it's actually one giant space heater, but for Bitcoin mining, which is a little crazy in my opinion. But it does, you know, the cost of running is 46 bucks, but you get 51 monthly reward. So, I mean, you're only getting, I don't know, maybe like 12 bucks. My math is trash right now. I'm kind of tired, guys. <laughs> but yeah, but it does make 37 terahash, which is pretty pretty neat, and you get some heat. So, but it does do 100 watts for this as well. But I do know this is one of their biggest um, mini miners for a space heater that they actually make. But I'm actually liking this um, Canon S3 over here, or 3S, my bad. But yeah, it does give you uh, some warranty. I got a little bit of warranty on it. I think I only have it for, um, I actually forgot. It says on the app, guys, if you have warranty on it or not. They usually give you warranty. All right, guys, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The moment you guys all been waiting for. What is the actual chances that this is actually going to hit a block for this Nano 3S? Well, if we put this on the high end, the high worker mode, we put 6.2. We are actually going to be looking in 1 in 880,718 chances a day. And then per year, you're looking at 2,413. Winning value is going to be your 3.1 Bitcoin block reward. If this Nano 3S does actually hit that block that you guys all want, that everybody wants, which is that little, uh, well, it's actually really not little, that almost $268,900 as the winning value. But if you do actually put this on the regular, let's just say four terahash, 4.5 on the high end, four terahash on the normal working mode, if you don't want to overstress your, your actual um, Nano 3S, your battery's not going to get as hot as mine is. Mine is actually really hot right now. But if you want to just keep it on normal mode, you get a really big number here. I'm not going to lie. It's up to you guys how you guys want to play it out, if that's what you guys want to do. Or let's just say you guys want to put this on the low end while you guys are sleeping, you know. Maybe if you guys want this really, really cold, you know, this does actually produce a lot of heat. It is what it's supposed to do. It's a heater. But if you guys want to put it as a low, you know, you get 2.7 million chances. Um, I mean, I, me personally, I would always keep it on normal mode if don't ever go on low that's just me. You do what you guys want to do with your uh, with your stuff. So this is what you're actually going to be looking at on a day-to-day -day basis for your Nano 3S. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I kind of like this if you're getting new to Bitcoin. If you guys want to just like see if you guys could uh, set it up. This is going to be the best solo mine probably in 2025 so far. But we just started not even second quarter yet. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, I will get you guys some more reviews later on down the line. I do have some more goodies for you guys coming in pretty soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.